Aren't you? Acrobatics uh, was broken. So it didn't actually work properly. Just die. I mean, sure, the intent was that you used uh, the boots of Spring Hill Jack to survive that fall, but... Well, I'm pretty sure that was just for people that had low acrobatics or something. I don't know. Point is, you can keep them, even the original, so... What I'm doing is completely legit. It's just cheap. Fuck you. Stay down, buddy. Freaking automated shite, what the fuck? This is gonna be a bother. Open. Curse of Thief Catcher. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Someone is apparently trying to commit suicide. It's the dog. Or the wolf. Oh, I didn't get it to activate. Oh. Alien Wizardry. There's seriously no other explanation for how those traps are still working. Anything in these? No. Great, now I can check more of them. Nothing. You should have a full set of gold and bronze by now. Nothing. Nothing. Anything here? No. Jewel necklace. Awesome. Farla stone. Yoink. It's a pretty big ruin. Fuck me. Let's not do. Let's not go there. Staff of weakness. Weakness everything. I now actually have a decent chance of getting diseased. Sort of. I don't want that. Oh, yeah, I, uh... Took the liberty of... Increasing the volume on that thing. Yes, I changed it. Also, that took half my health in one shot. That's complete bullshit. I mean, I have almost 700 health. That's 340 HP. Wow. This goddamn game. You wanna play that way, buddy? I can play. Fun thing about unenchanted items is that they shoot right through ghosts and hit the person, or in this case, Lich, that summoned the ghost. Oh, gods. Two tomes! Dominating touch, which I already have, and psychic motion, which I already have. Great! I'm right... 
behind. That is, of course, the... Damn slab, but guess what? I can't get it from here. Damn it. Wait, what? Is it in here? There it is. Admittedly, I should have remembered that. Oh, boy. Yeah, liches. One of the things in this game that get ridiculously powerful. Great, now I have to go the long way. Well, enemies here, so I haven't been here yet. That is promising. Dead enemy there. Yep, I need to go back. That's the entrance, I remember that. Where the heck? I guess I need to go through here. That adventure's doing pretty well for himself, it seems. Oh, fuck you. Yep, right here is the, uh... The thing. It's right there, seriously? Ah, oh, fuck it, let's take it. That thing collapses. It actually doesn't hurt you. Interesting. Screw you traps. Screw you alien wizardry that makes those traps work. I mean, sure, the aliens were wizards, but come on. This is getting a little over shit. Right. Those guys are here to steal my uh, slap. My personal opinion on this matter is a great big fuck you. What's that, buddy? You want to auto-talk to me? Go to fucking hell. Showing your face was the last... Excuse me, but, but I do not share that opinion. Even though I just hit myself in the face of a nuclear explosion. And the animation bugged out. Hooray. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. And above all, fuck you. Unyielding curse. You actually have a high fame key. See, you're the uh, drinking buddy, I do presume. Could you please get uh, these ragdoll physics? They are terrible. I don't recognize your face. And I guess I can't electrocute you because you are dead. Have fun with that. That guy will basically talk to you, pretty much force the slab off of you, and then run away. His dialogue is also a reference to Indiana Jones, as is the quest if you decide to talk to him, but fuck that. I can throw nukes around, I'm gonna fucking throw nukes around. Screwed asshole. All right.
Alright. No one here to be an asshole. Hail. Pleased. Good to see you again, sir. Yes. Now there are two more quests from Bucano. I misremembered. Thought there was only one left at this point, but there are two left. Ah, the treasure hunter. In addition to that. Ah, yes. My treasure hunting friend. What can I do for you? Um about that body of yours. I believe a little friendly competition always sharpens the wits. Even more reason for you to get back to hunting for my carving. Yeah, don't expect him back. Yes. You learned that it is the ruin now known as Malaga. Were you able to recover the carving yet? Yes. Wonderful! You are indeed a treasure hunter of exceptional talents. Here is your reward, as promised. Normally, I would give you a chance to celebrate your success, but I do have another task for you, if you are interested. A rather urgent one. Oh, do tell, do tell. What about the high fame, though? The carving you recovered from the ladder will be invaluable in my research on the late Aeliad period. This is not quite in your usual line of work, but I hope you can help me just the same. A rival collector has an item which I very much want to add to my collection, but she stubbornly refuses to consider any of my offers. She and I have had our differences over the years, I admit. Now she is taking this opportunity to get her revenge. I believe that you may be able to persuade her to part with the item, where I cannot due to her prejudice against me. Are you interested? Yes. Very good. I hope you will succeed where I have so far failed. So who is this collector? Her name is Herminia Sinner. She lives here in the Imperial City, in the Elven Gardens district. She fancies herself a student of the Elliots, although she sadly lacks any aesthetic instinct whatsoever. Be that as it may, she has come into possession of an ancient relic known as the Crown of the Elliots. Your job is to acquire it for me. Here is more than enough gold to buy it at any reasonable price. You may keep whatever you do not use as your fee. So about that crown... Reputedly the crown worn by the last king of the Aeliads. It deserves to be part of my collection. Who is this last Aeliad king? Very little is known of him. Not even his name. He ruled the last Aeliad city in Cyrodiil during the First Era. Three centuries after the fall of White Gold Tower. Okay. You too. You think the aliens are a little more, um, you know, Whoa. involved here, but they're just kind of... They're just wizards that left traps for you to die on. Apparently, she's in the Green Emperor way. Now, there are two solutions to this quest, and I'm going to do what I consider to be the fun one. Pretty sure most of you can guess what I will count as the fun one. Hi there. First... Charm. Well met. Do you know anything about the last Aeliad King? The King of Nanalata is the last Aeliad King known to history, true. He appears to have ruled for centuries past the fall of all the other Aeliad kingdoms, if the ancient chronicles are to be believed. But there never was a single king of the Aeliads. Each city-state had its king, and their power waxed and waned over the years. The king of Nanalata was the last, simply because all the other kings had been destroyed or driven out of Cyrodiil. Uh -huh. Do you have that crown? You want to buy my Aeliad crown? It isn't for sale at any price. I would think Umbakana would know that by now. Um... He'll pay you well for it. I will never allow the crown to fall into Umbakano's hands. 
He is far more dangerous than you realize. You can't be serious. Far from it. His interest in the aliens is not that of a mere scholar. He hopes to unlock the secrets of their magical power. And if you know anything about alien ruled Cyrodiil, that should make you very uneasy. Yeah, how is that thing dangerous? I have tons of artifacts lying in Bruma. I'm afraid I don't know for sure. I wish I had a more persuasive answer, but hear me out. The crown of the aliens which Umbakano wants is not simply an ancient work of art. It has certain superficial magic powers, true, but its real power is hidden. However, my studies of the ancient text make clear that it is the key to dangerous magical powers which should be left dormant. You won't give up. You're right. Even if I persuade you, he'll send someone else. Someone less amenable to reason. But what if... What if you brought him another alien crown? Um... Yeah, what do you mean? My own research into the late Aeliad period suggests that there was not a single Aeliad ruler, but many. They were a bitterly divided people, with many warlords vying against each other for power. Their ultimate demise was wrought by their own civil strife, at least as much as by the rebellion of their human slaves. And this other crown? My crown, the one Umbacano covets, belonged to the ruler of Nenalata. I've learned of another crown, entombed with the last ruler of the rival city of Lindai. Since Umbacano has never laid eyes on the real crown of the Aeliads, I doubt he could tell the difference. In any case, the other is also a real Aeliad crown, just not the right one. I think we could all sleep better if you brought him Lindai's crown instead of the crown of Nenalata. Here. I happen to have the key you'll need to enter the royal burial chamber in Lindai. I hope you'll make the right choice. So basically, you can either steal her crown, you can kill her and then steal her crown, or you can obtain the crown of Lindai. The alien city of Lindai was a bitter rival to Nenalata, the city of the so-called Last king of the Aeliads. Umbakano may not be able to tell the difference between the crown of Lindai and the crown of Nenalata. It's at least worth a try. I know I don't want to find out what terrible power Umbakano could unleash using the crown of Nenalata. And do you have anything to say about this? I hope you'll make the right choice. Umbakano must not have the crown of Nenalata. What we're going to do is we are in fact going to fetch the crown of Lindai. Why? Two reasons. For one, she is entirely correct. If Ubukano gets the right, well, right, if he gets the crown he wants, um, he's gonna go a bit mad with it. If you give him the, the crown, if you give him a crown, instead of the crown he wants, well, then fun stuff will happen. That is what I'm hoping to get. We'll see that eventually, but I'm pretty sure I need to get I need to get the rest of the ancestors first, and I don't know where they are, so Yeah. Um I'm gonna have to get creative with that. I'm not good at getting create uh. shit. Now how difficult is it to get this uh, crown? Shit. Come on. Let me open the f fuckery. 